Okay, I'm at the Washington Employees Credit Union where they love to lynch me. Um, this, I used to work for the government, and when I signed up for the credit union, you have to be a government employee. Um, and every time I get my Social Security disability, I have to beg the white man for it. Um, right now, I'm in, right at the bank, and I'm begging Megan and whoever white person will let me have my money so that I can survive. This is part of the modern day lynching techniques that they use um, against people who refuse to become government sex slaves. Um, if you deny to work for the government and do the corrupt things, and if you're a whistleblower, um, this is what they do. It's, it's like hanging you on a tree, so to speak. In slavery days, they would put a black person on a tree and they would whip them and lynch them. Um, now what they do is they lynch you in other ways versus using technology, um, your bank account, making you beg for your money. Right, um, right now the reason why I have to beg um, is because my brother-in-law um, is a crook and he managed to uh, get my mom to move in with him so that he could survive and so he took all the money that she had responsible for her money and the bills and there's a bill that she's supposed to pay that he uh, wrote in writing that he was paying that he didn't pay for the second mortgage which he let go into default okay he knew very well that I have disabilities and that I'm a single mother trying to raise my child, but they don't care because these white men are cutthroat. They will take and rob from anyone they can just to make it. Okay. Twenties and hundreds is fine. Okay, so he made me have to pay for all of this while he took my mom's money, wrote letters that he was going to pay it, that he didn't pay it. So then they it went into default, so they want to try to garnish my money, right? So this is what my brother-in-law did. He's supposed to be a financial um, investor, senior's financial investment. Okay, this is how they do. They're crooks. It's called white-collar crime. He's never going to be arrested for this or nothing's going to happen. And my mom let him get away with it and no one's ever going to do nothing about it. Okay. I have to come in because it won't allow you to give me my money for my social security disability. Exactly. It's just a little hiccup in the system. I'll be coming in so I can have a friend help you with that. Okay? Let them help you. Here's your ID and everything. This is part of the lynching. I guess they want me to come in so they can see me on camera. And all the state officials can get a big old laugh at how I have to beg for my money because I'm so poor. They get off on this. That's what they've been doing to me since 1992, 91. All this torture just every day. Every single day I have to go through this and they don't care. They just want to terrorize me. I have to fight for my money and beg for it now. <laughs> and my brother-in-law loves every minute of it. And he gets off on it and the torture and I have to bring all of this toil, stress and, and my heart. And I have to cry and fight every day, every time, fight for my money. And this is what he did to me. He stalled it and he put my house in default. And he robbed my family. And I hope you get back what you deserve. And everybody knows what Russell Company is about. i right now, begging for my money. I don't know what I'm gonna do. They're gonna take it again. My social security disability. My brother-in-law did this to me. David Payne. <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> Megan never said nothing when I called. I'm not sure if you know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like difficult center? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes they just have to have a second to call me over the phone. They took it before. That's why I'm so afraid I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know how to survive. Thank <laughs> you. 